Hello everyone. So for a long time, I think it has been uh, almost one year now, I was not using this uh, Intel NUC. Now this is uh, something that I, I think I have shown you a couple of times before in uh, my videos. And uh, I was not really sure what to do with this NUC. For some time I was just using it to play games. Then I also thought of installing uh, Linux on it. I thought of using it as uh, uh, an, an online, not, not really an online, but uh, network attached storage or basically a computer which is always up and running. And in my network, in my home network, I don't really have any, uh, any computer which is always running, uh, which is uh, a bit strange, but I'm fine with it. Now what I decided to do, I am now using it. Let us see how it goes, but I'm now using it as uh, uh, a Windows Media Center slash uh, gaming setup. Of course, I have, I'm not really going to play latest games on this uh, Intel in NUC, but uh, I will be just using it to maybe uh, play some retro games on my TV. And I have this, uh, this Intel NUC attached to my uh, television using this uh, mini HDMI to HDMI cable, which I, I think purchased when I got this uh, NUC. I think it has been, uh, I think uh, I got this last year and uh, I used it for a while. I think it was earlier this year when I stopped using it. And uh, uh, I think this setup is now uh, something that, that I will try for a while now. Now I, I have these uh, retro controllers and uh, most likely I will be playing, uh, you know, old games, retro games. I think I've made few videos on uh, on retro arch as well, showing you, you know, how to set it up. I, I don't really remember if I showed you, but it is of course you know, nothing complicated. But uh, good thing about uh, using Intel and you see is, I'm now thinking of uh, keeping it on all the time. So if it is on all the time, I will probably attach uh, maybe one more hard disk so that I have more storage. And this one actually has uh, an SSD with uh, 8 GB RAM and I believe it has uh, i5 processor. So it is actually quite decent. And uh, if you attach it using the HDMI cable to your television, then uh, the television will of course, you know, uh, play the, the, the audio. But of course it has this uh, 3.5 mm uh, output. And if I have to attach my speakers, I can do that. So this is something that uh, I will be doing now. And by the way, I am using this uh, this this Intel NUC with uh, this uh, dongle. So yesterday I made a video on uh, on uh, wireless Bluetooth. So I, I have this keyboard, this very old uh, Logitech keyboard, which uh, was there in India in Delhi in my room, and I was not using it because it was. Uh, not with me, but last year when I went to India, I got this. Uh, I actually brought it back with me, and it has Indian keyboard. Uh, the, the the layout, I believe. No, it is not even Indian. It is basically it, it is like U U S, but it's okay. I mean, I'm now used to the U K keyboard where you have pound, and you know, I think some of the keys are different. And good thing is, I, I mean, normally what I do whenever I have a keyboard which is not uh, in the layout which I am used to. I attach like some stickers. So most likely I will do that. And of course, you know, when you're using uh, Windows or Linux or Mac, you can always change the layout of that keyboard. But, the, but the, the problem with this keyboard is that some of the keys are, I think it has the pipe key, which is fine, but uh, I, I'll see how it works because in some of the keyboards, uh, especially in my ThinkPad T14, I don't really think I have the pipe key, weirdly, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, so this is what I will be doing now. Uh, Intel NUC will be used as a retro arch uh, slash media center. Let us see. I mean, I'm not sure if I will be uh, using it to play videos on YouTube because I anyways have YouTube on my TV. I mean, not on my TV, but I'm using this now uh, thing, uh, which is of course from Sky, but uh, maybe because it is all, it is basically the computer, right? I mean, if you have the full computer with you, you can actually do a lot of these things. So maybe I'll, uh, I, I'm not really sure if I want to remove Windows from it because uh, when it comes to retro games, I think Windows is probably, I mean, I'm only aware of Windows uh, and RetroArch. I'm sure there is a way to do it in Linux. I will, ex I will of course explore, but so far 
this will be my my setup and of course uh, this is uh, this intel nuc uh, it might be on all the time and if i have to watch tv i can just you know go to the other hdmi source because this tv can handle three hdmis so yeah that is all that is all i wanted to you know share in this video i actually wanted to say that uh, intel nuc can be can be used as a media center uh, and uh, if you are using it already do let me know for a long time i was using raspberry pi and that raspberry pi was actually not really i mean it was basically only running uh, mpd music player daemon and uh, and it, it was connected to speakers but because this is now connected to my tv i can definitely i mean if i if i install if i think of installing linux maybe i'll install mpd i mean I've, i've never really installed mpd on uh, on a windows and i know of other or you know other solutions you know you have like some dedicated software some uh, solutions that you can use to you know just use any old computer as a media center but i will most likely have a proper os installed on this intel nuc and by the way this came with windows 10 so <laughs> why not why not use windows 10 all right that is it that is it for today's video bye bye